All right. Hey, everybody. Dr. Sean Talbot here. Um, we're going to start a few minutes early just so I can chit chat with you. We'll start officially at the top of the hour, which for me is going to be seven o'clock uh, Eastern time. Uh, I'm back in Plymouth, Mass at the Amari Wellness Center in Plymouth. Um, and uh, but I wanted I wanted to say a couple things uh, before we uh, officially started. So today we're going to talk about the skin microbiome. Um, and we're going to talk about all three products that we launched at convention just a few days ago. Uh, but before I get there, today is October 18th, which is also uh, World Menopause Day. Uh, so I figured uh, we could talk about menopause for a couple of minutes before we before we start talking about the skin microbiome and beauty. Um, so World Menopause Day, every October 18th is World Menopause Day. And it's an opportunity to talk about something that a lot of people don't want to talk about. Menopause is one of those things. And until very recently, women just didn't want to talk about, right? All women go through it. You know, 99% of women go through it. Um, and hot flashes and night sweats and mood swings and loss of libido and vaginal dryness and like all the things that everyone's going through. Um, and a lot of people don't want to have that conversation. It's it's similar in a lot of ways, honestly, to this whole mental wellness discussion that five years ago when we started this company, Amari Global, uh, nobody wanted to talk about mental wellness. You know, it was always something that you sort of brushed under the rug. It was something that you changed the subject about when it came up, whenever you talked about depression or anxiety or burnout or just feeling kind of blah, which, you know, a lot of you who you listen to me know that we have a word for that. It's something called called languishing. Um and people didn't want to talk about that either. And fast forward now, five years to where we are today, and people want to talk about it all all the time. You know, it's it's like it's it's the topic of conversation. Um, so I think menopause is going to be you know around the around the same uh, you know around the same you know kind of kind of idea. Um, and I think that's cool because there are a lot of really really good really effective options that we have that to to help women and help men. Um, with with hormone changes as as we get older, I'm 55, you know, so I'm right in that in you know smack dab in that in that category. Uh, my wife is 52, um, you know, she's going through all those changes. Uh, the difference between those, you know, so menopause in women when your estrogen just like literally falls off a cliff, um, and in men it's a drop in testosterone. Sometimes it's called menopause. Ha ha ha. Um, but it's different in men because men's drop in testosterone is very, very gradual. It starts around age 30 and it goes little by little by little, maybe like a 1% drop every single year. And so you just sort of progressively feel a little less energetic, a little less sex drive, a little harder to recover from your workouts. You gain a little bit of weight around the midsection. You lose a little bit of muscle mass and a little bit of energy and motivation, right? So it's this gradual sort of process. And a lot of men just kind of chalk that up to the aging process. But what it really is, is a, is a decrement in your, in your hormone um, uh, uh, overall hormone profile women's, you know, it's, it's sort of like, you know, it might fluctuate a little bit here and there during a period of time that we call menopause and then boom, it's gone. And I mean, it, the, the, the symptoms hit you really, really hard and hit a lot of women hard for four, five, six, 10 years, you know, um, it can be really hard to deal with, but we launched ignite a version for women and a version for men um, about, gosh, when was it? It was mid, mid June, you know, so a few months ago. Um, and I just found out actually that Ignite for her, the female version of Ignite is actually one of our top selling products right now, right? So people are really, really resonating with the benefits that they're getting from it to be able to keep those hormone levels all the, all the, all the ingredients in the men's version, all the ingredients in the female version are what we call adaptogens. They help your body to adapt to the stresses of life or adapt to the stress that is on a particular system. And in this in the, 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 this case, we're talking about the hormonal system, sex hormones in particular, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. But those adaptogens help keep those levels normal. And as a result of that, you feel better. You know, your, your, you know, all the things that go haywire when you go through that time of life sort of start coming back to normal, right? So your energy comes back, your mood comes back, your brain fog lifts. Um, I put on my blog earlier today, a nice little report about menopause on the occasion of World Menopause Day. Um, and there's a really nice graph that I put there. There's a really nice link to a to a, a, a white paper. And the theme this year for World Menopause Day 2022 is cognition and mood, especially focusing on brain fog. Um, and so that makes perfect sense for us, especially as the mental wellness company, Amari, for us to talk about that. So go check out the blog, just my name, seantalbot.com. 
and you can read more about that. So there we are. We're at we're right at the top of the hour. Let me go and close one window over here. And I'm going to drop this guy down and we're ready to roll on our, on our topic for tonight. So our topic for tonight is your skin has a microbiome question mark exclamation point. Um, you know, th this is something that I, I think a lot of people don't, don't necessarily talk about or don't, don't think about, right? We, you know, we've been talking for a long time here at Amari about how you feel is not just in your head. It's also in your gut. And so we talk a lot about how the microbiome in your gut, the collection of bacteria, trillions of bacteria in your gut determine how we feel because they make a lot of our neurotransmitters, like 90% of our serotonin and 70% of our dopamine and a lot of our GABA, these neurotransmitters that influence how we feel are actually made in our gut. And so if we wanna feel our best, ultimate mental wellness, we need to look at our gut first, look at that second brain first. So we've been doing this for a long time. By doing that, focusing on the microbiome and focusing on the gut brain axis, we've been able to find that we that we can modulate not only the psychobiome, which is what we call this gut brain axis when we're focusing on mood, but we can focus on help using the microbiome to help change metabolism. So we've done that to help people lose weight. We can focus on the microbiome to help with hormones. Like I was just talking about, you know, from World Menopause Day. And so I wore this shirt tonight Happiness is a gut feeling because beauty is also a gut feeling. We know now that we can modulate the skin microbiome directly by putting things on top of our skin, but we can also modulate the skin microbiome and our skin structure from the perspective of the microbiome. So we talk, well, we will talk tonight about the gut skin axis. So things that we can do in the gut that can improve the skin. We can also talk about things that we can do directly to the skin to improve the microbiome of the skin. So before we get into that, let me do, let me find my cursor and let me go here real quick because a lot of times these science calls are the first time that people are having an interaction with Amari, right? It's a great place to send people once a month, you know, sometimes more than once a month, I do these deep dive calls about a particular area of mental wellness or a particular product category or a particular set of ingredients or a particular aspect of, of mental wellness. Like sometimes I might talk about mood or sometimes I might talk about sleep quality or or mental focus or what, whatever the case may be um, to get people interested in this area and get them to understand that mental wellness is about being happier and being more optimistic and being more resilient. It's not just about taking you from being feeling depressed and feeling anxious and helping you feel normal again. That's one piece of it. But for the majority of people, it's going to be getting you from going from feeling blah to feeling much better. For, we, we refer to that as leveling up. Tonight, we're going to focus on the, on the beauty side of it. How can we you know, manage these, the, you know, these aspects of the microbiome to help us, to help us look better. Um, so here's my background. I've been doing this for a long time. My PhD is in nutritional biochemistry, but the kind of work that I do these days is, is, is sometimes referred to as nutritional psychology. It's this idea of for the last the, almost 30 years now, it says 20 years of de de developing nutritional products, but I've been, you know, ever since I got my PhD in nutritional biochem, I've been using that to figure out how does nutrition and how does specific nutrients like herbal supplements and probiotics and prebiotic fibers and things like that, how do those change the biochemistry, things like neurotransmitters, like I just mentioned, and stress hormones like cortisol and inflammatory markers and things like that. How does that, how, do, how does the food change those, the biochemistry, but then how does the biochemistry relate to your psychology? How does that relate to how you feel? What does your energy levels look like? And what does your mood look like? And your ability to focus and your ability to be resilient in the face of our stressful world, those sorts of things, right? So, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can see all the, you can see all the bullet points. Um, I, I lost my cursor. There, it's back. Okay. Okay. Um, you can find information about all of that. Mental Fitness is my latest book. It's my 14th book. So I've been doing this for quite a while. Mental Fitness really focuses on that gut heart brain connection. And there's a whole chapter in there about nutrition. There's a whole chapter in there about supplements. There's a whole chapter about mindset and a chapter about physical activity and a chapter about exposure to nature. And, you know, so it's not just the supplements that we can use to really help us to level up in all these, all these mental wellness ways. And, you know, we, we're, we're, we're streaming this right now 
to Facebook and the Amara Global um, section. Um, I've got a Facebook page. I've got a YouTube page. I've got a blog where I post a lot of things like that, that article about, about menopause that I put up earlier today. And then in the resources section of, of, of Amara.com, we have tons of information. On every product page, we have a technical data sheet. That, that tells you all the research around the product. We have product information pages that give you sort of a sort of a two page or the highlights. Um, we have slide sets, we have FAQs, we've got all kinds of stuff, not because you have to become an expert in every single product, but we want to put the information out there so you can share it with whoever whoever wants to learn it at at whatever level. So there's a lot of information out, out there about, about the kinds of things that we're doing. Um, we also, let me just do this real quick. I came back from convention with a little bit of a cold. I probably went into convention with a little bit of a cold because I I I, I did the Hawaii Ironman about about a week ago, about a week ago, and that suppresses your immune system. So I'm a little bit I'm in that in that window of susceptibility right now. Um, so I mentioned a few minutes ago that what we've been doing over the last five years or so is really helping people level up with addressing neurotransmitter balance across the entire gut brain axis. And this is an example of that. This is a pack of products that we call happy juice. So it's our energy plus product for healthy energy levels and, and, and mental focus, our Amari edge product for motivation and our mentabiotics product that really is a gut product that really starts that process of neurotransmitter synthesis and, and helps with resilience, you might say, because it, it really is an overall feeling of well being. So, if you took any one of those products, you would feel better in that particular way. If you took Mentabiotics, you'd feel better in certain ways. If you took Amari Edge, you'd feel better in other different uh, uh, kinds of ways and, and Energy Plus in, in yet other ways. And so, you put all of these together and you're balancing your serotonin with this product and your dopamine with that product and your norepinephrine with that product and you put them all together and that's what we mean when we say quote unquote happy juice you feel better in this holistic way so i've been doing that for quite a while and people really resonate with it because you can feel it and that is something that people want these days right mental well-being is a massive massive category now that we we actually feel pretty pretty good that we helped to, to create that category because we have products that, that that are that are very demonstrable people can really really feel them at convention just this past weekend we launched products into three other massive massive categories the energy drink category. Um, and we already have our energy plus, but the product that we launched is a little bit different than that. We launched a product into the skin microbiome category, the topical cosmetics category. And we launched a product into the collagen category, but probably not in the way that you think of it. We did not launch a collagen product. We launched a collagen enhancer kind of a product uh, that can be used with collagen or can be used separate from collagen. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we, when we get to it. But these are massive, massive categories. So there will be people on this call, this science call, who are just here to hear about the science and hear about the products. There will also be people on this call who want to hear about the products for the specific reason because they want to build a business around the products and they want to get a benefit for themselves and a benefit for their customers and they want to build a business around helping other people feel better and look better and perform better and all that kind of stuff. So it's important for those people, the second category of people that want to build a business, to know that these are massive, massive categories. And what if you could do it better? What if you could go into the energy drink category and not just do a an energy drink that's not bad for you, right? All the energy drinks out there are bad for you. You know, the Red Bulls and the Rock Stars and the Monsters, they're either packed full of sugar or packed full of stimulants or they're packed full of artificial stuff, artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, artificial colors. You know you don't want that. You know you don't want your kids having that. So there's one way to say, well, let's make an energy drink that has none of the bads, right? So at least it's not bad for you. We made an energy drink that is actually good for you. And I'll share some data on that as we, as we go through. And then the other two, we launched a two-part system to take care of your skin microbiome and, your, and, and solve the problem of beauty, so to speak, topically with a, with a cream that you put on your, on your skin, a serum, and internally with a, with a, a plant spray uh, that you spray in your mouth 
and it stimulates your body to make more of its own collagen. So to truly come at it from both perspectives simultaneously, inside and outside, we launched a we launched a, a, a combination of product called Dermabiotics. And so I want to I want to step you through um, in each of these. So so let's do that. Okay. So. Um, Let's start with GBX Pep, and then I see I see things going on in the chat. Uh, so what I'm going to do this is this is going to Facebook at the same time. So when I finish, I'm going to go into the chat and look for questions. I'm going to go into the Q and A and look for questions and answer those. And then if we have time, I'll pop over and open up a window and look at at the comments in Facebook, and I'll and I'll try to answer those um, as much as I can until until we get to the top of the hour. Um, and if I don't answer your question, uh, somebody from the product experience team uh, or the R and D team or myself personally will get in there and we'll answer your question. So we'll make sure that we you know that we that we make you whole, so to speak. Okay. So here's the drink. It's a ready to drink um, probiotic probiotic, tonic, if you will, to really help across the entire gut-brain axis. So that's what GBX stands for. Gut-brain axis is GBX, GBX PEP. Strawberry cream flavored. It's a combination of very specific probiotic bacteria, prebiotic fibers, and phytonutrients. And this is an example of something that is not just not bad in the energy category, but it is actively good for you. So you can feel good about drinking one of these every day or a couple of these every day or allowing your kids to have it. And it's doing something good for you. And so what that looks like is, and so this next slide says GBX Pep is a lot of things, but at the end of the day, it is a good for you, tasty soda that supports digestive health and mental flow across the entire gut brain axis. So I want to get to, I want to get to this slide, which is the, which is the, which is the meat of the story, so to speak, which is showing you what's in it. So it's um let me let me show you this. Where where should I start? So all the good stuff, none of the bad here on the far left hand side. Zero sugar, um, vegan, non-GMO, no gluten, no dairy, no soy, you know, none of the none of the stuff you want to avoid. But what is it? What is in there? Well, the base of it, look here, you guys, where my cursor is right now. It says ingredients. It starts off with organic raw carbonated kombucha. And kombucha, for people who don't know kombucha, is a fermented tea. So we start with a green, organic green tea or organic black tea as our base, organic cane sugar, yikes, sugar, I'll get back to that in just a second, and kombucha cultures. Um, so we make that kombucha. Kombucha is good for your gut. It's good for setting up the environment of your gut. It's good for anything that's fermented is going to be a beautiful collection of a lot of stuff, vitamins and minerals and amino acids and all kinds of bioactive compounds. So we love fermented fermented things, you know, like kimchi and sauerkraut and yogurt and things like that. Kombucha is just a fermented tea. So that's 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 where we start. Let me address this cane sugar piece of it. In order to make that fermentation process happen, these kombucha cultures, right? These 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 you know bacteria and yeast need to eat up something and they eat up sugar. We can tune that ferment fermentation process so that the bacteria eat up every single bit of that sugar. So even though we start with cane sugar, there's no cane sugar at the end. And that allows us to, to show this, no total sugars, zero grams of added sugars, only two grams of carbohydrates total. Um, and that's from, that's from some of the fibers, but zero calories. So it's a really, really nice clean label, um, clean label beverage right there, right? It's zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs, zero sugars, exactly what people are looking for. But what makes it good for you, right? So first of all, you're having a fermented beverage. So that's going to be generally good for the overall environment of your gut. But here, this is where the, this is where the magic is. So we've got this 2 billion CFU. CFU stands for colony forming units. That's sort of like the strength of a probiotic. And you guys who have heard me talk about probiotics before know that I'm a nut about something called probiotic strain specificity, meaning we don't just give a generic probiotic species like a lactobacillus acidophilus or something like that. We give you a specific research defined DNA validated, um, uh, uh, you know, strain that does something. And so here, so in our mentobiotics, for example, we use three different strains that have been shown to help in humans with stress, depression, and anxiety right? Three different ways of helping people feel better. Here, we're using a specific strain of bacillus subtilis called DE11 or DE111. 
This DE111 strain is really good for overall gastrointestinal function, but it also has an anti-stress effect. So there have been some really good human studies, one of which that I like to I like to let people know about was done in college students, showing that those who supplemented with, with this DE111 strain during their final exams had less stress, had less gastrointestinal problems, really did better through that high stress period of their finals, right? And that's that's when we want a probiotic to do its best stuff when we're under most stress. Because what's happening to college kids when they're when they're doing finals? They're not sleeping. They're under a lot of psychological stress because they want to get a good they want to get a good grade. They're probably staying up late eating a lot of junk food, like you know, tortilla chips and sodas and things like that. So they're under they're under stress psychologically, physically, biochemically. You know, they're really in a in a bad place. And supplementing with with something like DE111 can really help to improve that resilience across their entire gut brain axis. So that's a wonderful place to start. We also have this proprietary blend, what we call this PEP blend, which is a combination of sun fiber, a very specific prebiotic fiber that's extracted from the guar bean, uh, a little bit of natural caffeine from green coffee bean extract, sun theanine, which is a pure version of L-theanine, which is an amino acid that can help relax you. So in, in, the, in the context of giving you a little bit of caffeine from green coffee bean with a little bit of theanine, from sun theanine, you get a very nice balancing effect of the energy from the caffeine and the relaxation from the theanine. So what you get is something that we refer to as relaxed alertness. They happen in different parts of the brain. So you can actually help somebody get into the zone, you know, like we would talk to an athlete by giving caffeine and theanine in the right ratios. This last ingredient, PFBC, stands for Palm Fruit Bioactives Complex. That is something that we developed in concert with MIT, did some studies around it, brought it to market together. Um, and this is something that um, helps with dopamine production. It helps with microbiome uh, diversity. It helps with signaling across the gut-brain axis. We have collected some data along, along with those researchers to show that it helps with overall mood. And so what I want to do, yeah, it is on this next slide. I want to show you, I wasn't able to show this at convention, but I wanted to share it on this, on this science call. When we take that blend, that, that combination of sun fiber plus sun theanine plus palm fruit bioactives, and we supplement that to people and we compare it um, to a placebo group, this is what we see. And so first I'm gonna show you the positive mood state, then I'm gonna show you the negative mood state. So we measured a lot of things in this clinical trial. I'm only gonna show you the mood results tonight. Once the rest of the data is ready to be presented, I'll do a whole new thing about PEP and we'll talk about the microbiome results and the stress hormone results and the cognitive function results that we collected. But I just wanna share with you the, the, mood, the, you know, the mood stuff because I wanna talk about the skin microbiome in just a second. So positive mood states, global mood state is one of those measurements from a, from a technique that we use called profile of mood states when we do some of our psychological studies. This is akin to an overall well-being index and a lower number is a better number. So let me orient you to what these slides look like. So the blue bars are gonna be the before supplementation value. The orange bars are gonna be the after supplementation value, supplementation for, for, uh, for four weeks, for a month. And what you see here is the group that got the supplement, the sun theanine, sun fiber, palm fruit combination, they improve their overall well-being by 21%, whereas the placebo group only improved by 5%. This is why you need a placebo group in a, in a psychology study like this, because you give somebody a glass of water and tell them that it's going to do something good for them. And guess what? It's going to do something good for them, right? Just the power of suggestion. That's a placebo response. So the, you, like you're going to see in these, in these slides, the placebo group got better on, on all of the parameters that we look at, um, but it wasn't real better. It was just sort of the, you know, it was the placebo effect. And we want to make sure that the effect we're seeing with the supplement is a lot better than what we're seeing with the, with the, with the placebo group. So here for overall well-being, we can see that it, that it definitely is. When we take that global well-being number and then look at what is driving that overall Overall well-being, we can look at different subscales. We can look at a positive subscale like vigor. We can look at negative subscales like depression and anxiety and confusion and 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 those sorts of things. And I'll I'll show all of those to you. So vigor also went up 
Vigor went up. It says negative here. That's just a typo. Um, but this went up 29%. So these people felt overall better in their vigor. And you can think of vigor as being sort of like resilience by 29%. That's a meaningful change. That's not just statistically significant. That is something that if your vigor goes up by 29%, you're going to be having a better day. Uh, consistently better days. Um, the the placebo group went up went up seven percent. Now let's look what happened on the negative mood states, right? So here's all the negative mood states. Four different negative mood states. Tension went down significantly. Depression went down significantly. Fatigue went down significantly. Confusion went down significantly. So think about this: people who are using energy drinks right now, like the standard energy drinks that you pick up at the gas station when you go through or the, or the convenience store, those might give you a temporary boost in your, in your energy levels, right? You might see a temporary suppression of fatigue with those energy drinks, but they're very often replaced later on with, uh, uh, with brain fog, which would be a confusion parameter, and tension and irritability, which would be a tension parameter. And so, you know, you, 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 you're doing a trade-off. Here with GBX PEP, there's no trade-off. It's just goodness on top of goodness on top of goodness. Something fermented, good for your, for your gut. Specific strain of probiotic bacteria, good for your gut. Specific blend of phytonutrients, the fiber and the, and the theanine and the, and, the, and the palm fruit that really improve all of your mood. Basically amplifying the positive mood states and downgrading the negative mood state. So you're turning up a good and you're turning down a bad. That's why we can say that GBX PEP really is a healthy approach when we start thinking about, about energy drinks, okay? It's different than what Energy Plus is doing in Happy Juice. It's different from what Edge is doing in Happy Juice. Um, but I think people are really gonna like it and are gonna like to have you know, a cold can in the refrigerator that you can just grab and go or, you know, things you can throw into the cooler when you're out at the soccer game or tailgating or, you know, you can you can serve it to your friends when they when they come over. So lots of really good things about about GBX pep. And I think I think people are really loving the taste of it, too. So um, let's shift gears and move on to the beauty piece of it. So the way that we're doing this as the mental wellness company is is in a really really different way right we we have to acknowledge the fact that if you if you look better or feel good about how you look you're going to feel good overall right so you know if you if you're not looking the way that you want to look you're not going to have the confidence you're not going to have the swagger that you normally would have and so we have to acknowledge that and be able to do it deliver that to people in uh in a in a in a really unique way so that's that's what we're doing we're doing it from the the outside perspective skin microbiome and the inside perspective the gut microbiome and this is what that looks like you know when people generally think about their skin they're only thinking about this very outer layer called the stratum corneum there's you know there's a zillion different creams that you can buy to put on here that are going to temporarily change the smoothness or the wrinkles or the skin tone or something like that, right? And so many people have like just drawers full of skin creams that they use, you know, they've used a few times because they didn't really deliver what they were looking for. And one of the reasons for that is that a lot of those don't take into account that the skin is actually a beautiful system, a, a, like a coordinated system of multiple layers. Think about how we talk about the gut brain axis here at Amari. We talk about, about how you feel is not just in your head, it's also in your gut. And how do the signals get from one brain to the other? They traverse across what we call the axis. So we talk about the gut brain axis system and our products address every layer of the system, the microbiome and the gut integrity and your immune system and your inflammatory cascade and your neurotransmitters. We have to think about the skin in the same way that we don't want to just address what's happening at this at this top top layer we want to think about the microbiome layer and the chemical layer and the physical layer and the immune system layer these are all different pieces that we can address with different kinds of nutrients and and the reason that's important is because your skin is under assault from not only things that are coming at us from the external world outside insults it's also under attack from inside insult. So think about the things here that you can that that can that are extrinsic factors, things that are that are outside of our bodies that are damaging us. Air pollution and sunlight and you know all these things, lifestyle, hygiene routines, 
you know, a, a different kinds of cosmetics, your your geographical location, how you live, how you take care of your how you take care of your skin, the climate, all that kind of stuff outside. But inside, what's happening is. Is your skin hydrated? Is your skin exposed to the right levels of hormones or not? Um, is your skin exposed to the right level of, of, of inflammatory markers, so the things that we call cytokines? Um, all, uh, is your immune system uh, overactive or underactive, right? There's all kinds of things that could potentially damage your skin from the outside or from the inside. And again, systems approach. We have to think about controlling all of those and balancing all of those if we wanna have something that's gonna work the way that we want to work and not end up in the bottom of the drawer with all those other uh with you know with all those other you know toss away um failed uh, uh skin creams that people buy so here's the first product in our dermabiotics this is our topical serum plant-based regenerating serum um this is what the ingredient deck looks like there's three blends if you will i'm going to talk e about each one of them in turn there's a bioactive delivery matrix. These are scary sounding chemicals that help us deliver the ingredients, the active ingredients to those different layers of the skin. Some of them we want in the microbiome layer, some of them we want in the, in the deeper layers. So uh, to, help, to help with collagen. So there's a microbiome nourishing blend. These are nutrients, mostly seaweeds and algaes and things like that. They can real, and bacteria that can support that microbiome layer. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. And then a collagen support blend that is really gonna support those deeper layers to make sure that that collagen connective tissue layer is strong and resilient and elastic and, and, and performs the way that you want it to perform, okay? When we think about collagen, there's a couple of things we need to think about. We need to think about not just building collagen. Almost the entire collagen market these days are just collagen protein supplements, right? Collagen peptides. That's not a bad way to go, but that only addresses one piece of the collagen puzzle, the making piece of it, right? You're, 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 you're giving building blocks that your body can, if it's properly primed, can take those building blocks and make collagen out of them. But you need to make sure that your collagen machinery is actually turned on so you can make use of those building blocks. And then once you make that collagen, you need to strengthen it. It has to be in the right in the right um, three-dimensional uh, shape in order to have its, 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 its ultimate strength and resiliency. And then once it's in that right shape, you need to continue turning it over. You need to maintain that strength. Otherwise it gets weak and it gets brittle and it gets fragile. So there's multiple steps in terms of keeping your collagen healthy. It's not just taking collagen protein in order to do that. That's probably, that is probably the minor piece of the entire process. How do I know this? Most of my PhD thesis involved collagen metabolism. Um, so I know quite a bit about the metabolism of collagen in different parts of the body, including the skin. Um, and then uh, my first job after my PhD, I worked for a company that developed the world's first collagen product. We developed it specifically for joints and we did a lot of research on that, but we had to understand how collagen forms in your tissues and your, you know, all your tissues, your ligaments and your tendons and your, in your cartilage and your bones and your skin, et cetera, et cetera. Your hair and your nails are a little bit different tissue. It's, it's, um, it's called keratin, but structurally it's similar in a lot of ways to collagen. So um, anyway, collagen is a fun thing to talk about, but it can sometimes be a little bit complicated when you really get into the, into the nitty gritty. So the idea here is that we're going to love your skin from the outside in with this serum, right? We're going to have something you can take one pump of, you can put it onto your skin. I actually use two pumps because I put it on my face and I put it on my head, especially I use it as, a, as an aftershave. Um, and it's a combination of prebiotics and probiotics and phytobiotics that you're, that you're delivering directly to those skin layers. And let's let's go to this next slide so you can so you can see some of the some of the detail. This is what I just I just talked about a little bit. You want to balance the skin microbiome, protect the skin barrier, and tone and smooth the skin. So this has been out just for a couple of days now, and I've heard so many reports from people um, commenting on its immediate effects. So when you put it on your skin, you're going to get an immediate toning effect, an immediate moisturizing effect, an immediate um, um, a smoothing effect. Um, th that's, that's all great. But the real benefits come over time when you start seeing skin tone and you see collagen strengthening and you see better elasticity and you see better um, 
uh, uh, hydration ability where the skin can actually hold on to that moisture more, more effectively. So you'll see some benefits immediately, literally the first time you use it, but you'll see more benefits as you use it consistently on a daily basis. And I'll, and I'll explain why when we get here to the, to the ingredient piece of it. So that bioactive delivery matrix, these are things that most of us can't pronounce. And because of that, they sound really, really scary. Um, the day that we launched this, I wrote a blog. So you can go to my blog, shantalbot.com, and you can find this where you just type in skin microbiome, and it'll go right to this blog. Um, I went and I, I, I gave a little bit more information about every single one of these compounds. These are all very, very safe compounds. There's an organization, sort of a watchdog organization called, the, called EWG, Environmental Working Group. They grade... Um, cosmetic chemicals uh, based on their on their safety data, right? They grade them from all the way from one to 10. Anything that is a one or a two is considered the most safe of all of the of the compounds, the least toxic that you can that you can use. There's a middle category from three, four, five, and then there's a toxic category, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And so we would never use anything in that high category. Um, we don't need to use anything in that middle category. We can actually achieve our objectives by using things in the safest, um, um, you know, least toxic category. And every single one of these ingredients falls into either a one or a two. Um, and so, so you can feel really comfortable that this is safe, even if you have very sensitive skin. Just don't, you know, don't put it in your eye and don't eat it. Right, but th that's the that's the only caution that I would that I would that I would give to somebody. But very very safe stuff, but also very very effective. These are the delivery matrix compounds, right? We need those in a serum in order to get the these ingredients, microbiome nourishing blend, and these ingredients, the collagen support blend, to the right parts of the skin. If we didn't use this the, the, these bioactive delivery matrix ingredients, we would just have one of those topical skin products that just sort of you know sat there on top and didn't really deliver the benefits that we're that we're promising okay so that's that's why they're there one other thing i should say is that this is a serum um, it's not a moisturizer even though it moisturizes it's not a toner even though it tones it's it's really sort of a uh, uh, like an in-between product that I think a lot of people are just going to insert into their existing regimen. So a lot of people already have a cleanser that they like. A lot of people have a toner. A lot of people have a moisturizer. A lot of people have a super ultra moisturizer that they might use overnight. Um, this would probably fall for most people right after the right after the cleanser and before the moisturizer. Um, some people like to use it before their toner. Some people like to use it after their toner. So you can play around with that. Serums sometimes will fit in that in that realm. Um, and there aren't a lot of serums out there. There certainly aren't a lot of microbiome serums. Uh, so this is a very unique niche, if you will. The microbiome nourishing blend is a postbiotic, something called lactococcus ferment lysate. So this is a specific family of bacteria, lactococcus, that has gone through a fermentation process, and then you lyse them. Basically, you break them up, and you get all that beautiful fermentation product that just like in the kombucha that we make with GBX pep, that fermentation product has a lot of stuff in it. And we want that lot of stuff and we want to put it on our skin because that can change the environment of the skin. It actually makes the skin slightly acidic and that sets up an environment that is less hospitable to bad bacteria, things like acne bacteria and, and oil producing bacteria and more hospitable to the good bacteria, the kind of bacteria that's gonna set up that really good, really strong barrier function to protect us and you know to protect us from the from the external world but also to protect the underlying skin from the damage of that external world so the microbiome needs to be there and needs to be diverse and resilient and one of the ways that we do that is by applying this lactococcus uh, lysate then we want to also nourish the, the bacteria that are there. We want to we want to give the right foods for the kind of bacteria that we want more of. And that's where we give these prebiotics. The prebiotics come from xanthan gum, sclerodium, pulanin. These are all plant-based, or I'm sorry, um, bacteria-based or 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 yeast-based ways of of giving a prebiotic fiber that the bacteria on your skin are going to love. And that's going to really make the make the good bacteria flourish. 
And then we have a phytobiotic blend. This is doing the same thing, supporting the good bacteria on your skin, but now we're doing it from seaweed and from um, and from algae and from an overall, I, so plant, plant saccharide isomerates are, are, are plant sugars. Um, those plant sugars are specific kinds of fibers that the bacteria on your skin are going to eat. So think about this in the same context of how we nourish the gut microbiome. We give prebiotic fibers like isofiber and galacto-oligosaccharide and galactomannan to specifically feed the good bacteria in our gut. When we have that, they produce more of the, of the happy chemicals to make us feel better. We're taking the same exact approach here. There are different bacteria on your skin, so they need different kinds of prebiotic fibers. And so we're giving a, a range of them, sometimes from plants, sometimes from bacteria, sometimes from, fu from, from fungi. Um, but the idea is to get an overall diversity because that's going to be better for the overall skin environment. And then we go one layer deeper and we support the collagen. So the collagen underneath, collagen for, uh, for people who aren't conversant in collagen, collagen is our chief structural protein. I, I said before, it's, it's the chief protein of our bones, chief protein of our joint cartilage, chief protein of our ligaments and our tendons and our and our skin, right? It is, it's what, it's basically what we're made of, right? It's the, it is the main protein across all of our, all of our body tissue. So it's, so it's really, really important to keep, to keep strong. Um, this collagen support blend is giving you specific nutrients. They're going to help to not just keep the collagen strong or, or, make it manufactured in the first place, but to keep it strong and to maintain its turnover. What is collagen turnover? Turnover is the process that collagen goes through to break down the bad parts and build up stronger. So think about um, what would be a good, th think about a seawall, right? We live here in Plymouth, Massachusetts. And in the wintertime, the seawall that I can see right across the street from, from, our, from our mental wellness retreat here, that gets bashed by the winter storms. And you can see boulders coming over it. You can see at the end of a storm that there's, you know, there's holes in the wall and there's chinks in where the cement was. And there's, you know, it, 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 it's a mess. So that wall has to be repaired. Collagen is the same way. Your body actively goes in and after a damaging event like that, like sunlight exposure or sugar exposure um, or uh, exposure to inflammation. You know, there's damage in that wall. So damage in that collagen molecule. The turnover process is to actively get your body to say, oh, look, there's a damage right here. Let's, let's fill that in. Oh, there's a damage right there. Let's fill that in. Oh, this one is a little bit damaged and it's a little bit creaky. Let's just break that down and get rid of the bad stuff before it's a problem. And let's refill it in with good stuff, right? That sometimes is called autophagy, um, but it's an overall turnover process. And if you can accelerate that process, if you can accelerate the building piece of it, you can make more healthy collagen. If you can accelerate the turnover process, you can keep that collagen actively healthy. That's what this does. And it does it really well in combination with the next product, which is our collagen spray. I'll talk about that in a second. So here's a little more detail about the microbiome nourishing blend. Um, these slides are gonna be available to everybody. So um, I, I'm not gonna go through each individual bullet point, um, but you can see where each one of these comes from. You can see what it mainly does. You can see what its primary uh, you know, mode of action is. Um, it, again, systems approach where we're really trying to bring together all these different pieces so that we can get something that really delivers um, really delivers a set of benefits has never been brought together in the same product before. Here's more detail about the collagen support blend. Each one of these different ingredients addresses the collagen either building process or maintenance process or repair process in a little bit different way, right? So it's important to have all of those, not just relying on any one of those. So some of the, some of these ingredients are about maintaining moisture. Some of these are about protecting from antioxidant damage. Some of these are about um, about like like fortifying the collagen's ability to be a, a sort of a dynamic structure. So you have you have that information. This information is all you know, is is also on the blog if you want to. So that's what we're putting on our skin, right? That's great, right? So we're going to get that benefit, noticeable benefit, immediate benefits that are going to be you know compounded. Sort of the more you use it, the more benefits you're going to get in terms of deeper layers and things like that. 
Then we combine that with a really, really unique product um, that is our Dermabiotics plant-based regenerating serum. So the serum is what I just talked about. This is our plant-based collagen boosting spray. So this is something that I don't think there's a comparable product on the market. It's also a really clean label product, zero calories, zero sugar. Um, even though it says honey down here, this is below the level. It's four sprays. It's below the level that would even give you a gram of sugar. Um, so it gives you a little bit of sweetness um, to cover up the bitterness of these two main active ingredients, um, which I'll talk about in a second. But it's not enough to actually deliver any sugar calories or any sugar grams. Okay, so really, really nice um, uh, way to do this. Um, so it's a tiny little bottle. You take four little sprays into your mouth. You swallow it, and once it gets to your gut, it's helping your microbiome to make more collagen. So for people who don't want to take collagen for various reasons, right? Collagen is an animal protein. So, you know, it typically comes from cow bones or cow hides. It can sometimes come from pig skins. It can sometimes come from... Um, from fish skeletons. It can sometimes come from chicken, chicken sternums. Um, so there's all kinds of places to get it, but by definition, collagen is an animal protein. So if you're, if you don't want animal products, then you're not going to want a collagen product. If you're okay with collagen products, and maybe you have a collagen product that you like, this will help, this spray will help that collagen product work even better because what this spray does is by stimulating your body's ability to make collagen, you're basically turning on your collagen synthetic machinery. So if you have the right building blocks on hand, whether those amino acids are coming from a collagen supplement or a plant-based protein or some other protein source, you're going to be able to take those amino acids and make them into the collagen where you need them. And if you need them in your skin, you're going to make more in your skin. If you need them in your joints, you're going to make more in your joints. So we can't, we can't determine that piece of it. But in this, in this mode, if you do happen to need them in your skin, what you're going to see is you're going to see you know, uh, better resilience of your skin. You're going to see thicker skin layers. You're going to, you, you know, the, you know, the parts of your skin that are thin are going to, are going to sort of fill in. Um, you're going to see better moisture. You're going to, you're going to see better elasticity. I'll show you all some of this data as we go through, but this is a way that we can develop beauty from the inside out. So outside in with the serum, inside out with the spray, please don't get them mixed up. Don't put the serum in your mouth. And don't spray the honey spray on your skin. You're not going to get the kinds of <laughs> kinds of effects that you're looking for. Um, so here it's this idea of instead of taking collagen, you can make it, right? So a very, very different approach, boost collagen production, support skin elasticity, improve skin integrity. Um, so let me, let me share with you some of the really cool ingredients that are in here. So this is a, a very simple product. One of, one of the ingredients is something called Moldavian dragon head extract. So this is a, this is a flower, um, it grows across different parts of Europe. Um, we, we, we harvest it sustainably with a partner and it does a heck of a lot. So it's really high in these very specialized flavonoids. Those give a collagen boosting effect, right? I've already said that, but the way that it does it by, is by activating these pathways. AMP, AMPK pathway and the FOXO pathway are involved in a couple of really important aspects of metabolism. These are kind of um, energy sensing pathways, if you will. So if, you're, if your blood sugar levels are, are fluctuating wildly, you can activate these pathways and you can get better blood sugar control. Why is that important for, for collagen? Because if your blood sugar levels are fluctuating a lot, that can lead to a problem with, in, in glycogen called, uh, in, in, um, in collagen called glycation. And if, you're, if your collagen gets glycated, basically gets sugar coated in a way, it ends up getting stiff and brittle. And that will lead to problems with wound healing. It'll lead to problems with wrinkles. It'll lead to problems with your skin not being quite elastic. Um, your skin will be dry. Um, it just, it just all your, your skin will not turn over quite as well. And so you won't be able to repair it. So that's, that's part of the wound healing um, aspect. Um, so if you can activate those pathways, you get this, you, you get this sort of side benefit, I guess, of, of better blood sugar control. But because of the blood sugar control, you get better skin, skin 
parameters, like I, like I just mentioned. So when we, when we supplement this, just the dragon head, uh, we supplement this to humans, you can see an increase in moist, skin moisture by 14% and an increase in skin elasticity by 7%. I'll show you, show you some of those slides in just a second. Flavored with organic honey, organic grapefruit extract, and, and natural strawberry flavor. And this particular ingredient was just a couple months ago, a finalist in Asia for, uh, for the, for, um, uh, ingredient of the year in the beauty from within category. So we feel really, really good that we're one of the first in the world to launch this ingredient and bring those benefits to you guys. The other um, uh, ingredient here is a very specific strain of probiotic bacteria. So this is one called Lactobacillus sacchi 65. So this 65 strain, or what we'd say S65, has been found in, in kimchi. And so kimchi is uh, fermented vegetables, right? Often cabbage, but often all, all kinds of other vegetables. Usually it's really spicy. Kimchi is a delicious little thing if you can find a really good, really good kind of kimchi. But remember, fermented beverage or fermented foods, whether we're fermenting tea, that's kombucha, or we're fermenting milk, that's yogurt, or we're fermenting cabbage, that's uh, sauerkraut. Or we're from, we can ferment all kinds of different things. We can ferment, uh, we can ferment um, grapes into wine. We can ferment, um, you know, different grains into beer. Um, here we're fermenting vegetables into kimchi, and the bacteria that does that, we can extract out just that bacteria, just this specific S65 strain, and that is good for immune system modulation and inflammation modulation. So the studies that have been done on this, when people are supplemented with S65, they, there's a benefit on their immune system, there's a benefit on their, on their overall inflammation, and that can be seen on their skin. Specifically, the studies are in something called atopic dermatitis, eczema. Um, this is technically a disease, and so we don't want to we don't want to talk about this product as something that's treating a disease. We would rather use just the word dermatitis with a small d. Dermatitis is kind of a catch-all term for any sort of redness, any sort of skin irritation, right? So, like you know, people say all the time, like, "Oh, my skin is irritated. My skin is you know, my skin is red and inflamed." You didn't just diagnose yourself with some skin disease. You're just referring to the appearance of your skin right now. That's how we want to we want to sort of frame this. Um, but if we use this to nourish the gut skin axis, we can have benefits across all these different areas. Your skin looks better, and your skin performs better. Um, this is the this is what the dragon uh, dragon head flower looks like, and as I said, it's it, it's harvested in different parts of Central Europe. This is what the data looks like. So there's a bunch of different studies showing the benefits of the of the brand that we use. So the Draco Bell is the specific brand of Moldovian dragon head extract that we use, and the reason we use that one is that's the one that won the award in Asia, and that's the one where all the research is, all the research showing things like this: an improvement in moisturization, an improvement in last in elasticity, an improvement in density. And so all of those are going to are result in your skin looks better. And these aren't just tiny little results. These are results increase in skin parameters compared to the initial conditions. This was, I believe this was about two months. Where does it? Oh, right here. It says 56 days. So yeah, j just about two months, but highly, highly significant changes that people are actually going to notice. Not only are you going to notice, in fact, probably before you notice it, one of your friends is going to notice it and going to say, huh, what have you been doing? Did you get some work? Well, you didn't get some work in the in the traditional sense. You did get some work because your body is working better from within to really give you that, you know, that sort of internal facelift, if you will, because now your body is making its own collagen and maintaining its own collagen. So here's kimchi. Here's the specific bacteria that we're getting from the kimchi. And remember, I told you it was that very specific S65, that 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 lactobacillus sacchi 65. This is a very complicated set of slides, you guys. So I just want to focus you in on, on, on a couple of parameters. We want to look at the red bars. So the red bars say dead cell. This particular strain of bacteria is actually heat treated. So it's not alive anymore. So we don't call this a probiotic bacteria. We call it a postbiotic bacteria. To be called a probiotic, it technically has to be living, and this is not living. And so what these studies were, were, were looking at is, does the live cell work? Yes, it does. 
Does the dead cell work? Ha, yes, it also does. And that's because there's something about the cell wall of this particular strain of, of, of bacteria, this S65, that signals the rest of your of your of your microbiome to change its its inflammatory uh, signaling, to change its immune system signaling, and the result of that is that you have better moisture in the skin and you have less inflammation in the skin. So this is something called SCORAD. This is the scoring for atopic dermatitis. This is looking at things like redness and flaking and and crusting and like you, all the things that would make your skin look bad there it's much much improved after supplementation with this s65 so not only does your skin look good your skin is actually functionally physically a better a better skin system because it's able to it's able to hold on to that hydration better and so here are all the here are all the studies on that very specific um, s65 that's been isolated from kimchi so we put all that together and you can you can see, here's what a control looks like. Here's what it looks like after someone's supplemented. Um, same thing here. This is another, another way of looking at those uh, skin appearance scores. And you can see that after one month, there's an improvement in how the skin looks with with the with the S65. After two months, it's even more. And then using a using another way of, of of scoring the skin, same thing. So in a variety of different ways of looking at it, we can show that the skin is functionally better, better moisture, better elasticity, better density, those sorts of things. But then that functionality of the skin being healthier is transmitted to the skin looking better. So it's not just a, a beauty effect. It is a beauty effect, but it's a beauty effect because we're helping the skin be healthier. We're helping the skin do its job better, which is to, to do all those things, be a, be a good, strong barrier, et, et cetera, et cetera. And we can do that topically with the serum. We can do that internally with the spray. And one thing, one, one thing I'll say about this too with, with GBX PAP, you don't have to worry about this changing your blood sugar levels. Remember I mentioned that thing called, called glycation just a, just a few minutes ago. If you were to drink a regular soda, like a Coke or a Sprite or a something like that, that's going to lead to a massive spike in your blood sugar levels. That's going to lead to inflammation. That's going to lead to glycation of your collagen through your entire body. So there are millions of people that are running around drinking a soda, becoming glycated, and then realizing after a while, my skin doesn't look very good. I need to go and get a skin cream and put that on my face to 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 treat to treat my redness and to treat my wrinkles and to treat my skin tone issues. Um, if they were to be less glycated, they would have le less of those problems. So here's a drink that is not going to change your blood sugar levels at all. I didn't mention when I was talking about GBX Pap that the that the sweetener that we use in here is a sweetener called allulose, which has a glycemic index of zero. It's a true sugar, so it tastes like sugar, but it doesn't raise your blood sugar levels. It doesn't do anything metabolically like sugar would do, except give you that sweet taste in your mouth. So this is something that is sort of an anti-glycation soda, if you will. So you're not developing those collagen problems that come from glycation. You have something you can put on your skin to give you a near immediate smoothing and toning and, 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 and moisturizing. And then you have something you can spray in your mouth that's just plants that can give you that stimulation of collagen synthetic um, processes that can help you make more of your own collagen. So uh, a really, really cool, really, really different set of products that we're launching here at Amari. Um, and because of that, because we just launched them just a couple of days ago, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that the sales team uh, is running these, these convention specials all month. I think it goes until the end of the month. Um, just in case I'm wrong about that, go and go and get them sooner rather than later. But they have some massive uh, deal savings going on where you can combine things like Happy Juice and some of our other nutritional products along with these new products um, that are, you know, have have just been launched at convention. So, you know, take advantage of all the savings you can get. I say um, there's really good um, uh, documentation on the website, so you can get a whole info packet on GBX Pep. You can get a whole info packet on on each of the Dermabiotics products. Um, and I encourage you to go, you know, give give them a shot. I think, you know, what we learned over the two days of launching these products is that people who tried them really, really liked them because they're really, really different, and they do things that 
you know, I think people have been looking for for a long time and have not not been able to find. Okay, so let me go in here and see if there's a couple of questions I can answer. Let me check the time. Yeah, we've got, we've got about six minutes before the top of the hour. So um, someone is saying, how much caffeine is in the GBX PEP? Uh, it's 50 milligrams and it's 50 milligrams of natural caffeine. And so natural caffeine is a little bit different than synthetic caffeine. Synthetic caffeine will have a faster onset of action. It'll hit you faster, but also goes away faster. Natural caffeine has a little bit of a slower onset of action, but it lasts longer. So you're not going to get jittery with natural caffeine. Um, sometimes for various reasons, you know, we might want to formulate something with synthetic caffeine if we wanted to hit somebody really really hard but that's not the that's not what we're what we're going for with this drink so it's natural caffeine that's usually really really well tolerated um someone's asking is there a reason the happy juice combo isn't packaged together it's the best feeling energy i've met with besides coffee um, and you just mentioned how each product works separately, but also together. So there, there there's, there's the answer. Yeah. So uh, we didn't want it to be all together because, you know, you could get a lot of people who say, I just want the motivation benefits of edge. And sometimes, you know, let, let's, let's say you bought a happy juice pack. Sometimes there's times where you might want just that motivation piece and you'll take edge on its own. Sometimes you want just the energy piece and you'll take that piece. Sometimes you want just the, you know, the resilience piece with mentabiotics and you would take that. There's a lot of people who take mentabiotics right before they go to bed because it can help amplify their production of GABA which is the relaxing neurotransmitter that can help them fall asleep. You know, So if you're one of those people that has trouble falling asleep, you can take mentabiotics before you, about 30 minutes before you go to bed and increase your GABA production and, and, and get that benefit. You know, So being able to use happy juice together is great, but being able to use it for those separate benefits is also great. And that's, that's, that's why we offer it that way. Um, and then let's see... Um, uh, here's one. Hey there, I'm at a soccer game of my daughter's high school. I have a question for my 15 year old daughter who is who has really bad acne, giving her happy juice, ignite and GBX fit. Um, she seemed to flare up at first, hoping for it to clear in time. Any advice? Yeah. So so Marielle, um, I actually just did uh, uh, just did an answer on on something related to this on I think I put it on Instagram, Instagram and YouTube. Um, where occasionally with what we're trying to do across the gut brain axis, we'll find people who feel worse before they feel better or get symptoms before those go away. We see it in our clinical trials sometimes. We see it out in the real world sometimes. What happens as you're trying to readjust across that gut brain axis could be that maybe her bad bacteria are starting to die off. And when that happens, they release these inflammatory compounds into the system. And so sometimes that can show up on the skin and you can get a flare up. Sometimes it can show up some other part of the body and you might feel achy. You might feel low grade headache. You might feel a little bit tired. You you know, those sometimes people will call that a detox reaction. It's not really that, it's just your body working through a rebalancing effect. So if you, maybe you have some bad bacteria die off, maybe you have a little bit of extra inflammation as those tissues are starting to repair and rejuvenate themselves. But what I usually say to people is if it's not too bad and you can just push through it and continue on with that readjustment phase, you're going to come out the other side and go, whoo. Now I feel much better. I'm glad I went through that because I'm so much better than I was on that other side. We see it. I wouldn't say that we see it commonly, but we see it enough where we know it's a real thing for certain people. And if they do push through to that other side, they're, they're, they're usually very thankful that they, that they do. Okay. So let me see if there's a couple more in here. Maybe I'll answer one or two more and then we'll, and then we'll get going. Um, let me see. Um, <laughs> someone's saying well koreans eat a lot of kimchi and look at their skin <laughs> so yeah that's a lot of times where we find these ideas you know we look at we look at korean skin and say what is it about their diet that could be responsible for that so kimchi might be one of those things um uh, there's a there's a lychee extract that we use in the edge product right here called a uh, lychee extract called oligonol. The idea about around lychee for helping with blood sugar control and glycation and helping with, with skin benefits also comes from historical usage in, in, in Japanese culture. It used to be reserved just for the geishas, you know, the most beautiful of all the Japanese women. You know, they ate a lot of lychee and that was thought to be, you know, responsible for some of the benefits. So now steps in the research and we're able to say, oh, 
antioxidant benefits, anti-inflammatory benefits, blood sugar controlling, anti-glycation benefits. Aha, it makes sense biochemically that it would have that sort of a sort of an outcome. Um, and let's see. Uh, and last question. So for the external application, do you use one pump in the morning and one in the evening? That would be a great way to do it. Um, I use it, I personally use it as an aftershave, right? So I go and I shave my face and my head and do all that kind of stuff. And I use one pump for my face and I use one pump for my head. Um, so I, I do two pumps, but I only do it once a day after I shave. Um, but you could use it as a morning routine. You could use it as an evening routine. Some people have different morning and evening routines and you can see where a serum might fit best for you. Um, but I think, you know, play around with it. All of our products, every single product in our line is what we refer to as flexible usage. So you'll get some people who use a little bit more, some people who use a little bit less, some people use it as directed, some people who use more when they're more stressed out and less when they're less stressed out, um, different combinations and different stacks of products, like our happy juice that would be referred to as a stack that can be used together, but can also be used separately, like I just explained. So feel free to play around, find the right regimen for you so that you can have a customized, personalized mental wellness regimen that hopefully Hopefully is going to uh, include these three new products that we just launched. Okay. Thanks a lot for tuning in tonight, you guys. And uh, I will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.